y'all what's up so before we actually get into today's episode i just wanted to come in and speak to the ladies so on friday april 12th at 8 p.m eastern standard time my sister jasmine and i we are hosting a virtual pajama party and the reason why i'm so excited about this is that the lord has placed this vision within both of our hearts to create a community a space for women to not just be women, but to also move past the bitterness, the jealousy, the envy, the competition, the things that go on amongst women. The Lord wants us to focus on building sisterhood. And so this event is first of many, okay? And so the tickets are $20. If you are interested in purchasing a ticket to this event, where we will also be give, uh, raffling away gift cards, we'll be playing different games. But honestly, it's really a place to network and connect with other women in faith like yourself, okay? If you know that you are a kingdom shaker and mover, you are a woman that is ready to move forward the agenda of God through sisterhood even, Please make sure that you check out this event. Spots are limited. We don't have many left, but I wanted to make sure I put this out there, okay? And so I'm gonna put the event bright down below in the description box. And so just make sure you guys go and check it out. It is going to be a blessing. And I can also tell you guys that the next event that we'll be doing together is happening on April 27th. It's the Friday, let me, let me get it together. Um, I'm still getting the information together, but the Lord is telling me to let you guys know. Yes, so sorry, Saturday, April 27th, I'm hosting a virtual movie night. For those of you who have been connected with the ministry for quite a while, you guys know about two years ago, I did a virtual movie night where we watched Esther. And it was pretty funny because, you know, as you're watching the movie, we're commenting like, Esther, you need to go get your man and da 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 da, right? And so it's for the ladies. And again, the sole purpose is creating sisterhood. And so I'm really excited for what the Lord is doing through my ministry, but also my sister's ministry as well, Women of Our Word. We are women of our word. We walk in integrity. And so I'm just really excited to have you all come in and be able to join me and my sister in this space. So again, that information is below. But let me let y'all get back to the word, get back to the episode for today, because Auspicious April is really looking like a great month for a lot of his children, all right? Love you all so much. Hopefully, I'll see you in the sleepover. Talk to you guys later. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Sunray welcoming you all to episode two of the Prepare Ones TV show. Today's episode is titled Auspicious April. I'm gonna say that again, auspicious April. And so when we look at what this word auspicious means, it means literally to be favorable, to be successful, to have light okay to be favorable to be successful and to have light and so i want you all to know that even though spring in our calendar the gregorian calendar began a few weeks ago spring actually begins april 8th or april 9th specifically that's when the rosh kadesh is for the month of nisan but actually begins april 9th 2024 and so this word today this episode today is really equipping you to understand what the month of april holds for many of you and so let's focus on the first point the Father said it's time to become. No longer can you stand and speculate who God has called you to be, but you now must become. When we speak of speculation, it's a person that analyzes, it's a person that sees, it's a person that looks. And so God says it's time that you transition from seeing who you are in the spirit to actually taking the steps to becoming that person. And so a few weeks ago on one of the encounter nights, I did an encounter titled Releasing Your Fragrance. And this teaching, this worship is going to be so fundamental to help some of you understand what God is saying here. In that teaching, I spoke of form, function, and fragrance. God designed each of us 
a specific form and in that form there's a specific function when i study biochemistry and i study protein structures and the metabolic cycles we learned that different enzymes and different proteins in the bi in the body that they are structured specifically for their function if the structure does not have the ability to do something then it cannot function in that way and so we see there's an important connection between god forming you and how it is that you will function because in scripture, if you guys go back to that teaching, we understood now that when God said he formed us, he hid our greatness in our form. For many of you, the recipe to your greatness will begin with you seeking God to understand your form. But you can't just do that alone. Some of you need to begin to cry off of the spirit of revelation. And why do I say, Sunray, how does the spirit of revelation connect to me? In this month, remember, it's auspicious April. So it's a month where the Lord is saying that his light is upon his people. And so with light is the spirit of revelation. It brings light. It sheds understanding on certain things that have been hidden. And our form is hidden in God, but not hidden from God. Amen. And so for those of you who want to understand your form, you have to know God. Because scripture tells us in Ephesians 1.17, it says, Oh, I pray that the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation may fall upon you so that you may know God. And David tells us in Psalm 139 that great is and vast is the knowledge that you have of me, O God. So if you want to know yourself, you have to come to know God. But you don't come to know God just by reading your Bible, just by going through the motions. You need to cry out for the spirit of revelation. You need the Ruach Adonai. You need the breath of the Holy Spirit to breathe on the scriptures so that you can begin to experience new, uh, new levels in God, new um. Yeah, just experience new things in God because the more you experience is the more that's being revealed to you right through the scriptures, which then leads to more light being shown on your path in life and you being able to walk out those revelations. Amen. We live by revelation. We live by the word of God. Hallelujah. And every word that proceeded from the mouth of the Father that just came to that just came to my spirit. Hallelujah. And so that's the first thing. The first thing God said is time to become. So no more speculation. Okay. No more just looking on the sidelines. Second thing, Nehemiah, it is time to build what God has given you. I literally released a teaching specifically for Nehemiah's to help you understand what your assignment is. Go watch it. Sunray, how do I find it? Literally, you go to the Encounter Nights playlist and you will find it located there for you. And so for Nehemiah's, you need to know who you're called to. You need to know why you're called to them. You need to know what you're called to build. Okay. And you need to know where this building is taking place. Where is God going to have you uh, pop up shop throughout different cities and countries? Is God going to have you create a storefront online? What is it? I mean, where is it that God wants you to do this thing? And another thing about this whole entire thing is the how, how are you going to do it? The method behind everything. And so when you are a Nehemiah and you study the book of Nehemiah, you understand that at the moment that he approached the king, the moment he approached the source of provision, he asked for what he needed. Because he had already, he knew what he was building. He knew where he was going to build. He knew what he would need it. He knew how. All of these different things. If we notice, it took about four months from the time that Nehemiah first heard about what was going on in, um, what was going on in his home, okay, to then him actually being before the king and asking for the provision that he needed. And so some of you, the Lord has had you in the process of seeking. And so God is saying, Nehemiah, it's time for you to build. Hallelujah. God says there shall be automatic open doors of favor. When you go into a store, they have automatic doors. The Lord says his favor, his light upon you, Nehemiah, this month is going to cause doors to open. And when we speak about light, we not only speak about revelation, but we speak about the favor of God. And that is what is coming upon you, child of God, this month of April. 
God says it's time to establish self-accountability. Hold yourself accountable for what you need to get done. Nobody is going to drop from heaven and tell you every little step that you need to do. You have to begin to be more focused on your goal, focused on what God needs you to do, and you have to hold yourself accountable for it. Now, there's people out there that you can pay to hold you accountable, but there's no greater accountability than the accountability that you can give yourself because that means that you'll be able to hold yourself as an integral person when it comes to dealing with other matters in your life, not just when it comes to the kingdom. Hallelujah. And so another thing about Nehemiah, um, God says that you will find favor and provision this month. I just feel so strongly in my spirit that some of you are about to start running across people that can fund your vision this month, but you must have written the vision, made it plain so that somebody can run with it, so that somebody can invest in it, so that somebody can understand what it is that God is doing. Amen. So you've had the time to see, you've had the time to seek. And so now it's time for you to release. It's time for you to begin to do the actual work. Release what has been seen onto paper. Release what has been seen into a website. Release what has been seen into a blueprint that is readable for someone else. Hallelujah. And so the next thing about Nehemiah is that God is sending you out and he is commanding you to build. So what do I mean by this? Those people who are called Nehemiah, some of you may encounter an assignment shift this month where the Lord is literally going to call you to move or to shift to another place or to shut down operations or to silently push a, a part of your ministry away so that you can focus on what God has you doing. This past week, what happened in the spirit, the Lord said that I am clearing out the path before you. He said, I am going into your new territory and I have obliterated the enemy. That was this past week. The Lord was telling me, I need you to uh, invoke the strategy of retreating. And so when God tells you to invoke the strategy of retreating, that means that I'm not praying up in the midnight hour to fight this battle. This is something that God is doing. And God said, as soon as the battle was over, he said, I have put my children in their new place. So in the spirit, a lot of you this past week, you have been put into that new assignment. And this month of April is when you're going to see it take force. Some of you are going to have to move. Remember the Lord said that there will be sudden and swift movements. I've understood this and as I've experienced it a multitude of times where an assignment will suddenly shift and within a three day period, I will have to move. And so I pray that the Lord provides for you everything it is that you need in that new place, everything it is that you need in that new assignment so that you can be or have an auspicious April, a successful and favorable April. Amen. And so God said, um, Isaiah 42 and nine, see the former things have taken place. And new things I declare, before they spring into being, I announce them to you. So for some of you, you have begun to see a fulfillment of previous words spoken in your life. Continue to believe the Lord that those other things are coming to pass too. God says that he is now beginning to declare new things in your life, okay? So God wants you to listen attenti attentively, listen to him closely, and forget what was. Give God your full attention. Because this is a season of leveling up. This is a month where many of you will mount up on wings as eagles, where you will literally soar. Remember, the Lord said, after the period of fasting to receive clarity, you shall run. And when you run, this is going to be full speed ahead. And so what comes with that is there's just like when the airplane goes up, any debris on the plane begins to fall off. There are people, there are situations, there are things that you're doing that literally are debris on your plane. So as God is ascending you, as he's accelerating you higher, those things are going to fall off. Amen. And so he wants you to know that there are certain people that God will isolate you from in this season. It's not because they're a horrible person. It's not because anything is wrong with them. It's just because they cannot stand with you in this new territory, in this new assignment that God has given you because some of them honestly aren't ready. The Lord was speaking to my heart this week. He told me, let this person go. He said, because they're not ready. You want them to go with you to this new place, but they're not ready. 
ready. They're not ready. God literally said that it will damage them more than it will help them. But if you will let this person go and allow me to fulfill and complete the work in them that I've already done in you, they will catch up to you and you will see that they will flourish and succeed in everything it is that I called them to do. You can't be dragging people with you because you want them to experience what you're experiencing. Some levels of manifestation of God's glory can literally kill people spiritually that have not been pushed up to that level by God. They can be pushed up to that level by God, but not by man. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so in this month, God said a light is being shown on you. I already spoke of this, but it's the light of God's favor, okay? The one that brings forth great prosperity and success. He brought to mind Job 22 and 28, where it says, ye shall declare a thing and it shall be established. And then it says what? And the light of the Lord shall shine upon all of your ways. This is a month of decrees. The Lord is gonna begin to have you make declaration statements over your life over your future. Father, in the next six months, this year will be the year. Next year, I will do X, Y, and Z. Da, 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 right? So on and so forth, okay? And so with the light being shown on you, the Lord has made this very clearly, okay? This is something that he spoke to us ministry a few weeks before. Remember, a few months before. He said, you are no longer hidden. Well, I got to tell y'all, God says you are no longer hidden. The time for that word to come to pass is now. So for some of you, this is only confirmation, but the father is saying you are no longer hidden, okay? He says that veils have been lifted for greater revelation, okay? And so um, this is also going to speak into the surprise engagements that I'm going to be talking about a little later on in this uh, episode. But God really wants people to understand that the veil has has been lifted. For those of you whose husbands, whose wives have not been able to see you, they will suddenly be able to see because this is a time that the light of God has shone upon you. In John 1 and 5, it tells us that it your light shone in darkness and the darkness was not able to overcome it. And so when the light of God shines on you, anything that was hidden must be revealed, including you. All right. And the Lord says it's time to walk into the spotlight. Many of you have been called to a uh, great positions of integrity and influence. And so the Lord is revealing the pathway for you to get into that place. It's time for you to pioneer in the way that the Lord has called you to pioneer. All right, so this month, it is a month of open hands. God said, keep your hands open this month. He spoke to me concerning the 11th Hebrew letter Kaf, okay? And so Psalm 145 and 16 says, you open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. So this is a time of God pouring out blessings on his children, giving the former and latter rain. When we read Joel 2.25, this is what it speaks of, or Joel 2.21 through 25. This is where it speaks of where it says that in the first month, you will bring the uh, former and latter rain. The first month is not the month of January. The first month is the month of Nisan. And so what God is also saying is that in this month, the month of Nisan, it is a month of the harvest, the barley harvest, okay? And so surprise engagements and marriages are coming forth. Amen. We're going to see another wave of kingdom marriages coming together, all for the equipping for the saints in the end time battle. Hallelujah. And so this is the month of the barley harvest the month in which Boaz returned home. So this is the month, listen, that Ruth will be seen and sought out. This is the month that Ruth will be seen and sought out, hallelujah. And so some of you may begin to hear wind of your Boaz talking to people about you, trying to figure out who you are, trying to figure out your character before he approaches you because the man God has coming in your life is not going to play any games concerning you. So let's continue on. The next thing, God said this is a month of steady flowings. He said it is very similar to the month of what used to be called Athinum, but is now called Tishri, okay? This is the month of all the high holidays. 
And so God says that at this time in your life, you are on the horizon of the greatest breakthrough yet, all right? And so the Lord begins speaking to me about circle. So when we study the word circle, specifically in the book of Job, we begin to understand that the circle was equilibrated or was likened to the horizon, all right? So when we speak about a circle, think about when a video is loading, think about when something is processing, okay? So when the circle is complete, it represents a cycle that's completed, a process that's finished, aka restoration and healing. And so God began to show me that there's a biblical connection, which I won't go into here. I'll just give the revelation between a circle, between a process being complete and joy and healing. Hallelujah, AKA wholeness. Because when people are healed by God, they receive healing. But wholeness is where that entire process has been complete, where the circle, where things begin to come full circle, okay? And so this healing and joy comes via the gift of God's oil of myrrh, okay? The oil of myrrh, AKA the healed wife. I did a teaching on that. It's funny how the Lord keeps leading you guys back to teaching because it's not enough that you just hear the prophetic word. You need instruction, okay? And so remember, this is the Prepared Ones TV show where I literally come on to release strategies to you for future triumphs. Some of these teach, all of these teachings have strategy in them. So if you are feeling pulled to certain parts of the word, go back on the channel and look at those teachings. But there are also teachings that I'm not even mentioning here that you may feel led to go to. You may type in, I don't know, um, my thoughts. Sun rain. There's a teaching on your thought life, okay? All of these different things God had me do last year and even this year to help equip us for this new season, for this new day that we've walked into. Hallelujah. And so the next thing that I want to talk about is standing in the promise, okay? So God says there's been an expansion of territory. Some of you are being called to move into the place of your next assignment. So this goes, uh, this goes, this is synonymous to what I mentioned about the Nehemiah is being called into their new assignment, okay? So um, God says, yes, it will be sudden and swift. And so one thing that I want to share with you here that the Lord shared with me is that some of you, this fasting period that you went through, you need to undergo a rededication to God, a rededication to God. So let me say this clearly. Your dedication is your consecration, okay? Your consecration is your dedication, so the type of consecration that God called for for your life, that is your dedication to God. So just like how Samson was a Nazarite, that was his level of consecration, but his consecration was his dedication. And in your consecration is your strength. In your consecration is your protection. And the reason why I say that is because some of you are heading into territories where you cannot be like the people. God has called you to them. He has not called you to become like them, okay? So you are in that territory, but do not become of that territory. And how does the Lord decide? Distinguish you. He does certain things. He requires certain things of you. For example, years ago in my past, I struggled with certain things. Had I came out here to LA and still been smoking weed, being gay, all of these other things, I, uh, drinking alcohol, I would not have been like the other, I, I would not have been different. I would not have uh, had a different level. Does this make sense? A different level of consecration. So God consecrates you according to what he's calling you into. Those things would have swallowed me here, but God. And so you want to seek the Lord concerning what your specific consecration is. Some of you have certain diets. Please pay attention to the Holy Spirit. It's not just God trying to make you not eat certain things. It's him trying to increase your ability to see. It's him trying to make sure that you run the race at the greatest capacity that you can run it so that he can receive the most glory. Remember, the glory of a king is established in a multitude, which means God is concerned about what brings him the most glory. How can your life bring God the most glory when you're performing at 10% of maximal proficiency when you could be going all the way to 100%? I pray I didn't lose anybody. Rewind it if it didn't make sense. Okay? And so this is why God is saying you are called to these places, but you are not to become these places. Amen? 
All right, last thing, as far as a strategy, as always, there will be attacks that are launched against your new. God wants you to stay close to him and worship anytime, anytime, always be in worship and prayer, right? But during times of transition, you almost need to increase your worship. You almost need to increase your prayer because things are shifting so fast in the spirit. It's easy to get caught up. And so you want to make sure that you stay consecrated, stay close to God, stay in his presence. Okay. And you also want to pay close attention to your dreams because the enemy is attempting to sow seeds of discord to taint your new. You cannot allow this to happen. You got to wake up. You got to cancel these dreams. You got to begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. You got to begin to pray. You got to begin to worship, set a different atmosphere. If you want to know about atmospheres, I, I promise you, I did a teaching on it. I don't remember what teaching it was that I did on atmospheres. So if you happen to find it, tag it below, but I can't remember, but atmospheres are so important. It's a revelatory teaching. Come on. It's going to help somebody. And so y'all, that is today's episode. This is auspicious April. This is a time of great favorability and success. The light of God is shining upon you. This is going to be an amazing time, an amazing season for you. Okay. And so I'm super excited to hear what the Lord does in the lives of his children this month. I also want to open up the opportunity for you all to sow into this ministry. That information should be popping up on your screen in some form or way. We also have our website that you can go to and find this information. And it's also located in the description box, all right? So family, I pray that this blesses you all. I pray that it meets you exactly where it needs to meet you. And I will talk to you all later. And remember, this is the Prepared Ones TV show where we release strategy for future triumphs.